Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is going to just be a short, quick little video. I just wanted to show you guys how I make one of my favorite frog colors. It's gonna be kind of a, a dual color. The tail is one color, and the body is gonna be a different color. I like to do a black body with gold flake in it with chartreuse legs. If you guys just stay tuned, I'll show you how I make it. Alright, so plastic right here on the right. This one is about half a cup of plastic because this is going to be the color for our tails. And this one with the full cup of plastic is obviously going to be the cup for the body. And show you guys. If you guys know mold, you know this is the angling AI mold. So this is the tail mold for their frog this is the body so that is what we're going to be shooting today just a single color with my single injector from bass tackle nine and a half ounce so to get started we're going to start with chartreuse i'm going to use the dead on plastics colorant for this just because they have a really nice thick colorant dead on plastics is probably some of the best colorant around it's just super thick and you got to use a lot less drops when you when you use it compared to something like lure works so and for the body I'm actually going to be using dead on and lure works which I will explain here in a second why so make sure it's all shooken up and then make and then make sure you grab your, your rag so you can wipe it off. And then, start off with about that much. Hmm. Well, you guys saw that when dead on plastics ships out their colors they put a like a wax seal around and a piece of it just broke off and fell in the plastic which never had that happen but we'll find it here in a sec so now we're ready for the black What I like doing when I use black is I like to use dead on and lure works just because when you use the lure works colorant and the dead on plastics colorant combined, it just makes it shinier for some reason. gonna see how thick this black is and I will start by dropping a little dot on the table just like such as you can see it's pretty thick it looks thicker on camera but still slightly see-through which is what I like just for the fact that I just like to have some depth to my plastic and by depth I mean where it's slightly see-through but you can see the multiple different sizes of flake as you can see like in my other videos I I use 0 0.062 or I use multiple sizes in in one bait and my preference is to use the three normal sizes, which is 0 0.015, 0 0.040, well, I guess 0 0.035, and 0 0.062. I like to use hex cut. Sometimes if they're sold out, I'll just get square cut. 
So we got a frog tail mold all ready to shoot, but first what I like to do is make sure got everything off that and then get some regular worm oil pretty cheap by lure works dump a bunch on rub it in a little put it back in and I just do one little thing around I'll just pull the plunger back and forth until I know that it's smooth and feels smooth so we'll just mix up the plastic a little and Top her off, shoot back the excess, and then we'll wait for that to dry up a little, and then we'll add the flake to our black, put the tails in, and shoot the body of the frog. So I'll see you when we get ready to open this guy. Okay, so it's dry, and now it's time to pull it out. Show you guys what it looks like. And there it is. Got four sets of legs, tails, whatever you want to call them. And what is really awesome about this angling AI mold is that it's got a It'll focus. That it's got a little cutout right there. If you guys can see that. So once you shoot the other color, it'll engulf around here, and the other color will connect through this, giving it a super, super strong hold. So it's awesome. Great idea. Now that we've just pulled these off we'll just go ahead and throw them in the frog body mold I'll show you guys that here in a sec now we'll just grab our little legs just grab this point right here kind of pinch right here and pull we'll do that Put that one in grab pull and repeat so I'm just gonna put these in and close up the mold then I'll grab the black plastic out of the microwave that way we can put the flake in and then shoot it and show you guys what it looks like we have our plastic pulled out of the microwave and the vacuum chamber so what we're gonna do is start with 0 0.062 chartreuse So this is a square cut. I'm gonna get a full quarter teaspoon. So then I got the point zero four zero. Full quarter teaspoon of that. And I got the point zero one five which I will not be grabbing a full quarter teaspoon, but probably about, I don't know, three quarters of a quarter teaspoon. I'm gonna make it a little more black than I like, but it's still, I don't know if you guys can see that. You can see maybe like somewhere right around, you can see some flake that's a little bit darker and that stuff a little bit deeper from the surface, which is what I like. I just like it to have more of a depth type of feel. So I'm gonna make sure this is up to temp and then I'm gonna reposition the camera and shoot it. So 
stay tuned so we got the tails in the mold got our plastic heated up to nearly 360 and that's just something that I would recommend just because that you want the plastic to be hot enough so that it adheres to the tails that are inside the mold already so and you do want to hold pressure so let's get this started So just hold pressure for about, I don't know, 10 seconds. Seems a little excessive, but you really want those two ends to adhere together. So that's about time. Top it off. Shoot back the excess. And we will reveal what it looks like here in a few minutes. So it's been a few minutes and time to crack this guy open show you guys what it looks like it's one of my favorite frog colors so oh. so that's how I like to make these frogs. I usually like to add the glitter towards the end right before I shoot it just because this gold glitter seems to fade a little bit. This is my favorite frog mold ever just because if you could see as you can see on the top, it's got this bump right here, which allows it to be weedless. And then on the bottom, you got this hook slot. So it it's a really great designed mold. So as you can see, black has gone over that little square that was cut out right there and it's just got such a great great bond it's a lot better bond than you know cutting the legs and just having that tiny thin piece of plastic it works if you have to do that but this is such a great design I'm very happy and pleased with it. And that is how you make this color. This is what it looks like when the tail slash legs are in the mold. As you can see it's got about a quarter inch maybe maybe like three eighths of an inch into the meat of that leg so it's gonna shoot one more and if anybody is interested comment down below and we can make it happen okay it's gonna shoot this guy one last time since it's the last two legs slash tails we got Remember to hold pressure. Don't try to put all your might into it, otherwise you could have a blowout and you do not want 350 plus temperature plastic touching your skin because it once it touches your skin it will have a hard time coming off until you are burned and I would know I've 
I've gotten burned by plastic before, so. But that's the last leg slash tail. So we'll let this set up and we'll be back when it and we'll be back when we're ready to open it. Round two is ready. If you ask me, it's a great looking color. And I think having a quality mold definitely helps. So, there we go. And that is it for this one. Like I said earlier, if you guys want a chance to win, leave a comment down below and, and if I choose your comment, I'll ship them out to you. But thanks for the view and I'll see you guys in the next one.